What on earth? I buy faulty electronic items from eBay, attempt to fix them, and then sell them for a profit. I paid a grand total of £46 for this immaculate Nintendo Switch. Inspecting the charging port, it looks okay. Do you know what? It looks better than okay. It looks amazing. As well as the screws. This is what leads me to believe I don't think it's been opened before. I'm not going to call it yet that nobody has definitely not been in this device. Now because this looks so squeaky clean, especially with the port, doesn't seem like there's any signs of liquid damage, it would be very rude of me not to use our AM meter here. Now this will show me the amount of current that this console takes. So here we go. What happens? Nothing completely dead hey it's actually quite rare that that happens where you get nothing sharp on the ammeter meter at all if you could see that the port was physically damaged it might make a little bit more sense but doesn't look like it first look inside so far completely clean what on earth has happened to the cpu shield where's m92 t36 so clearly someone has been here in here before and just very carefully taken out the screws that is disgusting this is not looking good Let's head on over to the microscope. How is the area around M92 T36 looking? Do you know what? It looks okay. We don't have any missing components. It's just simply except for M92 T36. Let's go down. What's that? Looks like thermal paste, if I'm honest. Down here. That port's been replaced then. Okay, so we have a replacement port. This shield, however, being the way it is, I don't like it. It scares me. So let's take it off. If I put the board up like this, look at how much flux. Uh, maybe not from that angle. From here, look, can you see? See how flux go all the way around the ramp? General inspection around the rest of the board. Max IC could have potentially been replaced. We have a large bit of flux around this cap here. NAND is intact and present, which is nice. LCD FPC connector looks all right. Or maybe a pin over there, you see that? Just down here, that pin looks a little bit dodgy, but should be okay as long as we are careful when we put it in and then let's look at the max ic up here yeah that max ic looks like it's been replaced as well okay so we have walked into a little bit of a tough one here into test mode now we have done our visual inspection so we're in continuity mode which is the mode that beeps i just want to check one thing i'm going to check this cap right here straight off the bat ready do we have a short on this cap if so it's game over it's game over i don't believe it unfortunately that is a cpu cap so this side is ground which you can hear it beeps that's good lovely jubbly beep but this side yeah if it beeps like it is it's game over. That is in fact as well a dead short to ground. I've done some very, very basic testing around the board and even on the back of where we have the APU, we have a short to ground on both sides of the cap. I think this one is literally just a massive waste of time. Unfortunately, the game is the game and where I buy faulty electronics from eBay, situations like this suck. Now I could relist this back as faulty and maybe get 50 pounds for it or so, but the chassis is in really, really good condition. So I'm actually going to keep this and hopefully I'll be able to use this chassis specifically. We are already £46 down.